Oh, hello. Uh, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about the Kill Team product range and also the upcoming pre-orders that you may have missed that announced at the weekend. So first off, we're going to look at the upcoming pre-orders. Uh, these are coming along on the 16th. So if you're watching this on the day of upload, they're coming up on Saturday. Um, and it's the two teams from Nackman as well as the Nackman book in a hardcover for people that missed out on the big box. So, we have prices. Um, these are in British pounds, so obviously you have to have a look around if you're in another country for your own uh, prices. Uh, Nackman book is 27.50, which is standard. The Corsair Voids card are £35, which is the same price as the Vet Guard and the Novitiates. So it's kind of the standard price for a 10-man a team um, with, you know, a 10-man team of new models with an upgrade through. Uh, the Legionaries are coming at £40. Um, so there's some interesting things we can talk about with the pricing there. Um, so if you look at the existing four teams, the, the bespoke plastic teams that have come out of boxes, you've got the Vet Guard and the Novitiates on £35. Uh, as I say, the Void Scar joined them on £35. They're all really similar. They're all two big sprues and one small upgrade sprue. Uh, they're all new models for Kill Team that were, were new when they were released. And they're all £35. Um, the Pathfinders... Well, no, we're talking about the Orcs first. The Orcs are £37.50. The Orcs have a £2.50 Orc tax. Um, I've no idea why they're not £35. Uh, I haven't been able to work it out. The only thing I can think of is the Orcs are sprued out differently. So they're not done on two standard size sprues and a small upgrade sprue. They're all sprued out together. I don't know whether that makes a difference. But I think there are only two sprues for the Orcs. So... You'd think that would make them cheaper, not more expensive. There is a £2.50 Commandos tax. But more interestingly are the Pathfinders and the new um, Legionaries. So the Pathfinders and the Legionaries are unique uh, among this crop of releases because they are the two that take an older kit, uh, not that much older in the case of the Legionaries, but an older and existing kit, and they put in a new sprue. So the Pathfinders are £32.50, uh, for Kill Team, which makes them a fair bit cheaper than the other teams at the £35 standard mark. But the Pathfinders that you can still buy separately are only £26, which means that the cost for your Kill Team Tau upgrade sprue is £7.50. Meanwhile, the 40k Space Marines, um, the Chaos Space Marines rather, for 40k, they're £37.50. And for um, the Kill Team version with the Upgrade Sprue, they're going to be £40. So your Upgrade Sprue is costing you £2.50. Now on the face of it, this seems really bizarre, right? Because you've got two sprues. You imagine that they take similar costs in terms of design work, in terms of production. Um, and yet one can be sold for £2.50 a throw, and one is being sold for £7.50 a throw. Uh, it's a bit strange. Um, before we condemn Games Workshop too much, I would say that if they'd simply released the Pathfinder Kill Team for £32.50, or even £35, and then turned around and said to the Tau players, right, this is it, this is your Pathfinders, and taken the £26 Pathfinder box off the market, I don't think anybody would have been surprised. In fact, I think most people are surprised that the £26... The original Pathfinder 40k box is still an option. So you've got the option of whether you want to pay the extra £7.50 for the upgrade sprue or not. And with the Pathfinders, it's pretty relevant. Because if you want a full roster of, of Pathfinders, you will want two boxes. But you do not need two upgrade sprues. So you get one set of uh, the Kill Team Pathfinders, probably from having bought Chalath, right? And then you supplement that with one of the ordinary £26 Pathfinder boxes. Um, the Chaos Marines then, I guess they decided they couldn't charge much more than £37.50. People wouldn't buy it. And they, they, they have charged the price of £40, which is the price they think the market will bear. I don't know how many boxes they're going to sell at, at £40. Although, if you're playing Chaos Space Marines anyway for 40 k you might consider it, oh, well, for £2.50, I can get a sprue of loads of extra really cool bits. Um, so maybe I'll pick that sprue up to get my... Um, a chain gun, right? Because there's no chain gun in the Chaos Marine squad as standard. So, it, it 
it's a little incongruous when you look at it together like that broken down and you go, why is the Tau sprue so expensive and why is the Chaos Marine sprue so cheap? But on the other hand, the fact that you can still buy the old Tau, you don't need that many upgrade sprues, the upgrade sprues don't add very much, their team is still cheaper than the other comparative teams. Um, it's weirdness, I don't think it's bad, I'm not going to become one of these channels where I complain, I'm not complaining about the prices, I'm just pointing at them and going, that's, that's a bit odd. It is a little bit odd, but there, that's what's coming out. Right, so I said we were going to have an overview of the general uh, product range, so I've looked at the pre-orders. By the way, if you are going to buy any of these pre-orders, you can help the channel out by using the Element Games link down in the description. You will save 20% off the prices here, off the Games Workshop uh, official prices, and an extra 5% will go to me, uh, just costing you nothing extra, so... That's pretty cool if you if you can do that. If you are picking up one of these, if you didn't get Nackman, although I will say, still in stock at Element Games is the Nackman box, which is a really good deal if the book and the teams are something that you want. But you'll have to look at that and be the judge for yourself. So, terrain sets. One thing you'll notice is that there was no terrain set that came out with um, with, with, with the, with, with the, uh, the Nackman stuff. Um, we didn't get a set... Of the, um, we did get a set of the industrial terrain that came in the Nackman box. Now you can see I've got very confused here on my slide talking about no separate terrain for Morok uh, because, of course, they what we as kill teamers would call the Morok terrain, they called the Nackman terrain, and what we think of as the Nackman terrain is the Sector Mechanicus terrain. Anyway, that industrial terrain. Um, that's in the box, it's just had its two teams released separately, that's not getting a box. Likely because of the crane issue. So for those of you that have missed this, um, in that Nackman kill team box with the two teams and the industrial terrain, you get this big crane here, okay? But you don't get these two little tractors. And originally, it was envisaged and sprued out to be sold as a set like this. And what they've done is they've just pulled out the the, the one sprue that makes the majority of the massive crane and not giving you the second sprue that get, makes you the small little tractors. The issue is that the crane uh, has this hole on its back for this aerial piece. Well, that aerial piece is actually on the other sprue with the little tractors. So by not giving you the little tractors and trying to just give you the crane by itself, they've accidentally left you with a model with a hole in the top. Now, it's pretty easy to fix the hole with some green stuff or whatever if that's what you'd like to do and it's not going to change that much about your gameplay experience but given the amount of customer support calls that they had and initially they were sending out free tractors and after a while they decided to tell everyone to get lost um they probably don't want a repeat of that right knowingly set that you know because first time would be a mistake doing it again would be knowingly selling a faulty product that didn't have the pictured aerial on the back right so we're not getting uh, a separate terrain set for that stuff, which makes me wary because they've also taken away the Chalnath terrain. Okay, so you can still buy Octaria, £67.50 on the Games Workshop site, no problem. And that is the only source of that terrain. Uh, the Chalnath terrain has disappeared from um, Games Workshop. And if you look, it's not in stock at Elements either. I've put this up here to show you what I'm talking about, but actually you can't go and buy this because it's... They haven't got any either. They say email me when it's back in stock, but it never will be. Uh, I think the channel terrain is finished. Um, now, this was really popular because for 40k, this was a good price for this much terrain that's useful on a 40k table. So a lot of people that don't care about Kill Team were buying up this channel stuff to kickstart a 40k table, absolutely. Um, so it does seem likely to me that we won't see a Morok terrain box because this is the Morok terrain down here. They're already trying to sell this in a set for 135. Now this is slightly more terrain. You get two of these bunkers, and you get two of the cardboard, or sorry, the the card the heavy card uh, bases. So you get slightly more than you got in the 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 Morok box set. But while they're still trying to sell this, I can't see them bringing out a box with more than half of this stuff uh, at this price point of 167.50. I can't see that happening. So I don't think we're going to get the Morok terrain separate either. So if you are waiting for that, my advice to you is to consider buying Kill Team Morok, which is still in stock, and trying to sell the books, the teams on uh, on eBay. And if you pick it up on Elements again, you'll get your 20% your, your off. Um, 
but I don't think we're going to see the separate terrain again. I think the terrain offer is just going to go down to being Octarius. I think Octarius is going to stick around even as we go into Space Hulk for people that want to play the original open battlefield version of the game. I think Octarius is going to be the set that they sell in all the, in all the shops. I think that's not going to go anywhere because these, if they took this off the market, they haven't got a way of selling those sprues anymore. All the other stuff we've talked about it exists in different forms and different products. You can still buy the Sector Mechanica stuff. You can still buy the, the Chalath stuff, you know. Um, but the Kill Zone Octarius is now only in this set. So that's where we are with Terrain. While we go through all the product range, though, let's have a look at the other stuff. Um, as has been reported by other outlets, the technical... Uh, the Tech Ops cards have kind of disappeared. Well, I, I say they've kind of disappeared. Um, they used to be available as a separate item for £13. You can still buy them, by the way, on Element Games. They've got seven left, just there as a, as a little public service if you really want the Tac Ops cards. You can still buy them on GamesWorkshop.com if you buy the Core Rules and the Compendium at the same time. So they'll sell you this collection for £78. Um, or if you want to buy the Essentials at the same time, they'll sell you that for £100.50. But you, you can't get the Tac Ops cards individually. So it, it's difficult to work out what's going on there. One argument might be that they have just messed up the website, um, and so they are still selling the Tac Ops cards, they just don't realise they've taken down the product listing, which would make sense of the fact that it's still available in the bundles, or they've messed up by not realising they need to take the bundles down at the same time, or they're deliberately, tinfoil hat, trying to make people nervous, they go, oh, I really want Tac Ops cards, oh, I've got to buy this bundle, I guess I'll spend £78 on this bundle rather than using Wapedia for the rules and just getting the cards. If that's you, go to Element Games and buy one of these seven packs of cards. It could be that the Tac Ops cards are going away um, and that with the new season, Kill Team Into the Dark, we're going to get new Tactical Objectives cards. How would you feel about that? Right, so envisage a possibility where the faction Tac Ops stay the same but the core four decks, you know, Recon, Security, uh, Seek and Destroy and... Infiltration, yeah, remembered it. Um, they change, right? Imagine they change, or they're added to, or they, they make a new deck, or they get rid of a deck, or they just change what's in some of the decks. Imagine they change, you know, with the new um, season, just like they changed second reason things with the new season of 40k. You know, we got the pack, the the the, the 40k knack. The word Knackman means too many things. Um, is it is it Knackman or is it some other damn name of a planet now for the 40k? The, the new chapter approved, it has a name, right? No, no, Noctilus? Nostradamus? Something. It's got some fake Latin name, right? That book, you all know what I'm talking about. That's got new secondaries in the 40k. So it's not a new addition, but it's a, a, a tweak. If we got that level of tweak with Into the Dark, that wasn't just to be to be to be clear, it wasn't just part of Into the Dark. It wasn't like, or I'm not saying suggesting they could do this. I'm not suggesting that they're going to go. These are the tack ops for missions on the Space Hulk, and these are the tack ops for missions, you know, over on Octarius or Chalnath or wherever you want to play, I'm suggesting they're going to say, these are the new tack ops for this year. Um, you can buy a new deck. It's uh, it's going to be, you know, £13. Or you can buy Into the Dark, the first box set, and that's going to have the, the cards in. Two decks, you know. How would you feel about that? Uh, I feel pretty good about it. Um, Neighbour parallel parking noisily. I'd feel pretty good about it because I think that is an area of the game that they can balance without ruining anybody's day. Um, it's something that they can change, that changes the whole game globally, that makes me stop saying the words like, oh yes, they can't take security, oh yes, they can't take security, oh yes, well of course you take security all the time. Um, and so, yeah, I think it would be good, but how would you feel about that? I do think this starter set is here to stay. To, to stay. To stay, yes. I do feel that this starter set is here to stay. And for that reason, I don't think they're going to change up what's in the Essentials set. Because those Essentials are thrown into the starter set. Um, I know some people at one point, I did hear some people saying that maybe the, the cat wasn't part of the Imperial Navy at all. 
and it was going to be like an objective piece perhaps similar to the way the barricades were in in what we can now call season one of kill team and they were going to change the scouting phase for missions on the space hulk so you didn't place down barricades i think you still will have i think you still will have this standard set with these barricades i wouldn't be surprised if you get a second copy of this in kill team into the dark right these tokens and the measures and things they may do a separate version of it that's cosmetically different that'd be cool for the people that already bought the first one so it's the same stuff the same size barricades the same templates but with different logos on it to look like part of the ship that would be cool but i think this starter set is here to stay i think these essentials are here to stay it's just interesting what's happened to the tac ops okay it's about time to uh wrap up now i should think um, so I'd love to see your thoughts down below. Are the secondaries going to be updated for the new season? Or is it just Games Workshop doing Games Workshop things? Or are they just doing a second print run? That's the other option. They're just doing a second print run to fix um, the one that's misprinted. Uh, Robin Ransack, right? That's got the wrong text on the card. So they could have taken them off to do a second print run for that reason. Um, you know, and so we'll get the new box and we'll get a new set of tactics cards and then we'll go, oh great, new Robin Ransack card. I can put that in my decks and throw the rest away. I, I don't know. Um, were you waiting for the new releases? Was anybody that watches this channel actually, like, I I have never bought a separate box of Kill Team, because I always buy the big box, and then if I want more, uh, you know, I, I wanted more Vet Guards, so I traded, I traded away my Commandos to Zimbad for his uh, Vet Guard, because he wanted some more Commandos for his Orc army in 40k, right? Uh, second box, I wanted more Pathfinders, so we just went and bought some Pathfinders, the 26-man Pathfinders to add into them. Uh, third box, you know, um, we didn't need to upgrade anything, I don't think. Oh, Le I think Helen wanted some more Legionaries, but um, again, she just had some from a Chaos Army, so that was no bother. I'd, I've never want I've never been in the position of waiting with bated breath for the um, the Kill Team separate releases to come out. But if you are, somebody must buy them, so I want to hear from you. I think it would be better if Games Workshop could release the separate stuff when they release the next box so rather than having this couple of week delay that we've had do what they managed to do the last time they brought out a big box and release the um release the separate stuff from the previous box on the same day that would be good um if you are going to buy any of that stuff please do use my element games link down the bottom again just i get five percent back you still got 20 you still get 20 percent off um it's pretty cool for everybody um I am feeling much better today. Thank you for the last couple of videos. I've not had the camera on because I have been unwell. Uh, I am going back to work tomorrow. I feel much recovered uh, and I've beaten off the COVID, so that's good. But that having been said, I may not be streaming tomorrow. I'll come home from work and see how tired I still am following a, a day of, of teaching. Um, so maybe or maybe not a hobby stream tomorrow. I have been doing some some hobby on the old on the old empress children there will be some horus heresy stuff coming along uh, at some point on the channel for those of you that are interested in that but uh as for today that's about it thanks for listening everybody and uh cheery cheery bye